have a dream. But my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. That speech on August 28, 1963 is arguably the most famous that Martin Luther King ever gave. And that I Have a Dream line made it one of the most famous speeches in history. But it wasn't the first time Dr. King delivered that line, and it wasn't even originally supposed to be in that March on Washington speech. So what is the history behind I Have a Dream? Good question. Because I have a dream today. Dr. King used the phrase eight times in front of 250,000 people. I still have a dream. But not once did it appear in the written script. Right here is where we now go into the ad lib part of the I Have a Dream speech. This was something that he did all the time as a minister. Keith Mays teaches African American history at the U. He uh, allowed that moment. To, to inspire him to actually just move away from the script. It wasn't the first time Dr. King had used the line. This is a recording from Detroit two months before Washington, D.C. I have a dream this afternoon. And one day right here in Detroit, Negroes will be able to buy a house or rent a house anywhere that their money will carry them. And they will be able to get a job. It happened 11 minutes into the 16-minute Washington speech. What he had the heard great some voices. Mahalia Jackson, yes. <laughs> Give us the dream, Martin. Tell us about the dream. Hallelujah! Ah! Gospel singer Mahalia Jackson sat a few people away. He's using it for the second or third time in 1963. Mahalia Jackson knows this as somebody who's friends with Dr. Martin Luther King, and she's urging him. She's propelling him. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. Would the speech have had the same impact without the I Have a Dream? Good question. From a printed word standpoint, yes. I have a dream. From a spoken word standpoint, no. This speech is memor memorable because of the way he delivers that line. Dream. I have a dream. And Professor Mays says that line helps us still talk about the speech today, but that we're often just stuck on it. He encourages people to listen to the entire speech to better understand what the black freedom struggle when it comes to voting rights, poverty, housing, and jobs was all about. Well, if you have a good question for me, please email it by going to wcco.com links.